you've just hit a milestone, a major milestone. You're celebrating, I believe, it's just coming up anyway. 50 years in the business, 50 years as a professional right. working yeah. actor. 50 years. That's amazing. Congratulations. Where does it go? Well, I did mean, you... it only seems like yesterday I started, you know. Did you expect to be around that long? Because I know no, you, it wasn't the most auspicious no. start, was it? No, not really. It, it took a while. I mean, I was about 30 when it really started going all right. I'd done Scum when I was 17 and we moved and made the film again when I was 20. And I, kept, I retired twice in that time, from 17 to 20, I retired from the business. Mm. Uh, sometimes I think, uh, what would I be doing, you know? I was expelled from drama school. If I hadn't been expelled, I wouldn't be here today. So you were kicked that's out of drama scum, school? You know. wow. Why did they kick you out? Was it just behaviour? Oh, I was just, a, I was just an horrible little bastard, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd done something at drama school where I, I sabotaged the headmistress's car and <laughs> stupid, and someone grasped me up and I got kicked out, quite rightly so. Yeah. <laughs> but um, with that, I went up to the BBC, which was this building here, funny enough. Mm. It's where it kind of started, you know? Of the people you work with, we think about the directors you work with, some amazing directors, of course, yeah. over the years, and some yeah. amazing films. Which are the ones that you, you enjoyed the experience the most? Which are the ones that maybe you learned from working with them? Well, um, Spielberg, I think, um, purely because he enjoyed showing you what he was doing and, and teaching you, you, you understood why he was moving a camera in a certain direction. And he just loved being there, you know? Yeah. He really did. Uh, Scorsese for the reasons, but, you know, there's Gary Oldman. Uh, for me, being an actor, and he's a great actor, being in a film with him, he understood what acting was all about. Now that was... Know? that. Um, maybe some of you might not have seen this. It's an amazing film. I think it's one of your best performances. One. It's an incredible film, Nil by Mouth, directed by Gary. And it's quite... It's very intense drama, of course. Oh, yeah, it's not Saturday Night with yeah. Pizza, no. No, no. <laughs> no. But it was amazing. But he hadn't directed much before, had he? I don't think he'd directed anything before. So that was a bit of a risk, I would have thought. Yeah, for that. yeah. Really, but you, when you... When he gave me the script, and it's quite flattering for someone like him to give me a script, because I hadn't done too much at the time, you know? And you read it, and it's the best thing I've ever read about the subject. Mm. And I don't come from there. You know, I, I'm a London boy. I'm working class. Well, I come from the east end of London. But this side of London, he was talking about the undercurrent, you know, the drugs and the heroin and all that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't come from that world. I've seen it. And so it was... You, you you go somewhere dark when you do something like that, you know? And and we certainly did. And I was very proud of that film. Yeah, it's an amazing performance. Yeah. Um, another amazing performance, much lighter, I'm pleased to say. Yeah. Uh, but this is someone everyone remember. Before we, we have a look at this, though, just briefly, I'm going to ask you a question, Catherine. Yeah. Do you think men of any age, but of a certain age, mm. should wear Speedos? <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be mandatory, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Because men are gifted enough to have their reproductive organs on the outside. <laughs> and God intended us, I feel, to see those. <laughs> uh, that, and have you seen the film Sexy Beast? I have, of course. OK, well, there you go. This is just to remember this. This is Ray showing you how Speedo should be worn. Absolutely. <laughs> in Sexy Beast. That's amazing. That, I mean, that's an amazing look. How did you prepare for that role? How did you get ready for that? How did you, you get yourself in shape for that role, Ray? Well, that's a good question, cos I was actually asked to go to Spain early, a couple of weeks earlier, and I had to um, drink lots of vodka, eat lots of pasta and lay on the beach in the sun. That was preparation for the film. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's a Just tough Just to life. Get, in, get into shape. Yeah. Yeah. It's an yeah. Ama I mean, that's an amazing look. Yeah. It was cold that day. <laughs> 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 it's yeah. I mean, it looks reasonably warm. <laughs> Um, but, you know, it's Ray's birthday, ladies and gentlemen, and so we do have a small gift because... And the gift is themed, Ray. Yeah. Are you... Um, you're not a football fan, are you? I like women's football now. I was taken under the Lionesses' wing. Wow. I learned all about everything, the World Cup, and now I'm a fan. Okay. But I don't support any specific team, and so that means I'm in a good mood all year. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, Ray's in a bad mood most of the year because oh. he supports West Ham. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. OK, let's have a look. This is your present, then. This is a proper present. You know, it's my wife's birthday today. This is, in a way, though... Yeah. Maybe this is a present for her as well. OK. Oh, <gasps> really? And for me. Is it one of them kind of presents? <laughs> Happy birthday, Wade. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah. Oh. I was hoping so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll put them on for the second half. Yes. <laughs>